Hey everyone, it's Yoro here and today I'm gonna show you how you can copy the weights of an already existing skin or champion onto your skin. For example, I'm doing one for Zoe right now and she, she has a lot of difficult facial movements and also her hair could be a challenge to some extent. So I'm gonna show you how we can keep up the weights from the original champion or skin. So first of all, you will need the original game files, which I have here. Then you want to start with your Maya. Okay. Then you we need to go to File, Import. And you have to make sure that file, uh, files of type is set to League of Legends skin. Then you have to select the SKM. Keep those settings. And important to have those checked. Because then if you import the skin... This is just a bug of my Maya. Somehow it's green, I'm sorry. Forgive me, your eye cancer. But as you can see, it has the original weights. So how, how she's animated in the first place. What you want to do now is um, export all as a day FBX. So, and I'm just gonna call it weights. Okay. Now you don't need that anymore. Then you can open your your file which you were working on, which is a my should be a Maya binary file. Your skin should already be finished and bound to the skeleton, which you can tell from the skeleton being in rainbow colors. But yeah, as you can see, the weights don't really work that well. Well, not at all, pretty much. Then what you'll need to do, because if you just copy your die file in, it's just gonna override it and mess things up. So you need to work with namespaces, so you go to General Editors, Namespace Editor, then you can just create a new one, the name doesn't matter at all, and then add selected. Then as you can see the names are changed on everything. Then you'll need your DayFBX file, which is this one, you will drag it in, ignore all of those warnings. And there's still some small issue going on since it me messes up my mesh somehow which I don't completely understand why it should be just the side of a hand or something I mean not gonna bother with it for now, I can fix it later. So first you wanna select the one you import and the one with the original weights. Then select the mesh with that you want to copy the weights on and not change the name. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but yeah, select that, then go to skin and copy skin weights. Your settings have to be like this. Then just click copy. Then you can delete all of those again. It is important that you get rid of the namespace uh, the namespaces before you export otherwise your Maya will crash. I just forgot it and my Maya completely crashed. So yeah. Now as you can see it also has those nice copied weights which of course don't completely match. For example I will need to fix this by hand. Or also here because the horn just gets weighted to an OAS strand, which I removed. But yeah, they match generally better because I've 
could have never reproduced that to any extent without going insane probably. So now the problem is if you want to export that to a League of Legends skin file it will give you an error. Oh yeah. First of all, give give me an error because I forgot to give it a material a new one. But that's not the usual error which it gives. But that one. So one vertical, one of those dots can only be influenced by four different influences. That sounds kind of stupid. And you will need to fix that by hand. But there are basically two ways. There's a script, it's called word select. You just want to drop that onto there. And then it will work. Yeah. Somewhat usually it work. Yeah, okay, now it works. And you Maya will just basically stop working. It will just freeze for a while. While it's well, it is working on, s uh, yeah, when the script is running. What it will do is it will select the verticals which are ha have influences from more than four influences on them, which you will need to fix by hand. As you can see, there are a few selected verticals. You can just kind of see, yeah, all of those. What you now can do is go into weight paint mode again, and you can just go through the whole thing to which it just select parts which can affect it. For example, here, and as you can see, the blue well. They're mostly blue values. The blue values are really, really low, close to zero, which means it won't really make it much of a difference if you just get rid of them. So you can just turn down the value and paint over them. So they are no more, no more on this influence. Then it makes more sense. It is higher. So this would be three or th three. There was on the fourth one. Also, I will need to fix all of those because she doesn't have a necklace in this skin, and there are parts of it. So yeah, this would be four, I think, five. So yeah, I'm gonna just get rid of those as well, and then it should be fine, I believe. So now up to this one, which is probably affected by the neck. No, not really. One, two, three. This one definitely, this one not anymore. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tedious process and can be annoying. But it's still better than trying to replicate those animations by hand. So I could kind of skip those since the whole horn has to be bound to the head fully, actually. So maybe that could 
like that. No, okay, I still miss things. So this is kinda annoying to do and really tedious. So there's another way, which is of course lazier and it doesn't have the perfect results. Which is give me a second. It's prune small weights. You can select what kind of weights you want to prune or get rid of basically. I'm gonna start with zero point five. So it's really, really low and basically won't make a difference again. So then it looks different and you'll have a lot less blue. And so I'm already going to try it if that's enough. Yeah. So that's an even easier fix and, that's l and more lazy. And now I'm going to see how it looks in game. Those are all of the failed exports where you got errors, so you can just get rid of those. So yeah. As you can see the facial animations work for the most part. There's still some stretching so you still have to do some fixing by hand of course. But yeah, that's definitely a better result than anyone could achieve by doing most of it alone. And this all has to do with materials, so they don't appear the whole time, and that I'm gonna show you in another video. But yeah, that's it for now, and I hope this helps you. See ya!